this video happened only because of Jeevan. Uh, thank you, Jeevan, for motivating a noob like me to do a project like this. And thanks to uh, this website, milliom.com, as well as his YouTube channel, uh, for all the necessary instructions and tutorials. I have put the links to his website and as well as Milliom's YouTube channel in the description. If you have not viewed my previous video on how to make a do-it-yourself thermal scanner, I strongly recommend that you go back and see that video because the concepts of making a do-it-yourself thermal scanner has been explained in detail there, which I am not doing it in this video because this is an extension of that previous project wherein I have added a buzzer to the existing configuration that we did in the do-it-yourself thermal scanner project. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, this is the right time to do so. Connecting a buzzer to the Arduino project is very simple. You have to connect the terminals to the ground and to any of the digital pins of the Arduino except 3 and 11. So here I have connected the terminal to 8, that's the negative going to the 8 and the positive to the ground. In the sketch, all you have to do is add the buzzer and then give the instruction of what the buzzer should do. I have put the code in my blog and the link to my blog is there in the description. There is an easier way to connect the sensor and the buzzer. The terminals of the buzzer goes to the digital pin 8 and ground whereas the terminals of the sensor that is the SCL and SDA goes to A5 and A4 respectively. So what it does is it separates the two connections to both the sides of the Arduino board and thereby reduces the confusion of wires converging onto the same side. As you can see here this is the digital pin side of the Arduino which has the connections from the buzzer and the analog side of the Arduino is exclusively for the connections from the sensor. Once the connections are done and the sketch uploaded to the Arduino, you can open up the serial monitor to see the readings coming in from the sensor. And as soon as the readings go above 37 degrees centigrade, the buzzer is activated. And the buzzer stays on till the temperature comes below 37. Thank you very much and please do subscribe to my channel.